Protecting confidential information in a PDF document is easy with redaction. Don't be fooled into thinking that placing a black box over the text you want to hide is enough. Only by using the redaction tool can you permanently remove content to keep it safe. Let's look how easy it is to redact sensitive information with Foxit Phantom PDF. First, let's open up Foxit Phantom PDF. For this example, I'll use a W-9 form. To start, let's fill out the form by inputting name, city, state, and zip code. Next, I'll put in my social security number. Now that the form is completed, I want to redact my social security number since it's very sensitive information. To start, go to the Protect tab. Now click over the Mark for Redaction button and a pop-up message will inform you that you have to first mark the text you want to redact. Once you have marked the text, you must apply redaction to make it effective. Click over OK to continue. Draw a box around the social security number to mark it. Then go to the ribbon and click Apply Redaction. You can use customized overlay text or add one or multiple redaction codes. To add multiple code entries at once, right-click over the selected area that will be redacted and choose Properties. Next, check Use Overlay Text and Redaction Code. Then select the first entry you want to add and click over Add Selected Entry. Repeat the same process for the second entry. Once you finish adding the entries, click over OK and as you can see, the redaction mark now has two code entries. If you want to redact multiple occurrences of a specific word or number from a document, you can easily do it with the Search and Redact tool. For this example, I would like to redact all the email addresses that are shown in this contract. To do it, click over Search and Redact on the Protect tab. Here you can look for words, patterns, or even create redaction profiles to reuse later. In this case, we'll use patterns because we want to redact all the emails included in this contract. Start by checking the pattern box, then choosing United States as the country, and then email addresses as the pattern. Next, click search. As you can see, it brought up all the email addresses within the document. To redact them, just check all boxes from the search panel and click on Marked Checked for Redaction. Finally, click Apply Redaction and all the email addresses are redacted. Additionally, you can create redaction profiles to be reused later. To do it, choose Redaction Profiles from the drop-down menu on the search window. Then click over Create and give a name to the profile. Next, enter the word that you want to be searched and the overlay text that you want to be used when the word is redacted. For this case, we will use one word, but you can add as many words and overlay tests as you wish. Lastly, click Save and Search, mark all the findings, and apply redaction. If you want to use the same redaction profile again, you just need to choose the same profile. Now that the sensitive information is well protected, you can save and share.